In other news, a Catholic organization says it is prepared to file a lawsuit against the FBI. Catholic Vote says that it has asked the Bureau for more information about the since withdrawn memo from the FBI Richmond office that appeared to target traditional Catholics. Catholic Vote used the Freedom of Information Act, but it says that the FBI memo is part of a pattern of hostility against the faithful. We go now to Brian Birch, president of Catholic Vote. Brian, great to see you again. Tell us more about the freedom of information requests that you made to the FBI and where do things stand now? Well, thank you for having me. You are correct. We filed this Freedom of Information Act request in early March. The deadline just passed yesterday for them to respond. And it's a strange circumstance here where the FBI and the Department of Justice are not responding to our legal request for documents related to this memo. Um, and now we may have no choice uh, but to file a federal lawsuit in the coming days to get the information that we are entitled to by law. Yes, uh, we, you certainly are through that Freedom of Information Act request. And uh, you accuse the top law enforcement agency of uh, a pattern of hostility against Catholics and all people of faith. Tell us more why, what makes you say that? Well, I think ever Catholics around the United States sense the, the proverbial uh, heat being turned up. Uh, on, on us, whether it be the uh, widespread vandalism against our churches or the disproportionate focusing on pro-life Catholics like Mark Houck, uh, a, a family man who was uh, raided at gunpoint and forced to endure a long trial in order to exonerate himself. And now evidence uh, based on a leaked memo that the FBI had authorized uh, surveillance of Catholic churches uh, in order to set tripwires and to gather source material uh, to inform on what they claimed were threats uh, to democracy in the form of recruiting efforts by uh, 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 right-wing extremist groups that apparently, according to some, um, were, were targeting Catholic churches. Definitely so. And you recently called on the Catholic church leaders to speak out against the targeting of the faithful. And what response have you received so far? Well, again, and based on uh, our Freedom of Information Act request, we've received nothing from the government, hmm. uh, and the, their deadline is now passed. You also have a congressional committee that is looking into this, uh, that has subpoenaed the director of the FBI. And then, of course, we have the government's own acknowledgement. Uh, Attorney General Merrick Garland has called this memo appalling, and he has promised an internal review, and we will be certainly holding him accountable to produce evidence uh, that they gather as a part of that effort. And any reaction from church leaders out there? We're certainly uh, hoping for more. We've had a few bishops speak out. I don't know if everyone has recognized uh, the particular gravity of this threat. This is an agency of the federal government uh, who was caught in a leaked memo authorizing surveillance of Catholics attending church. This, in my view, is an unprecedented step on the part of the government. Uh, the, the highest ranking officials that have commented on this have called it um, appalling. And I think ca every Catholic American and every Catholic leader should be demanding and holding uh, this government responsible uh, in getting to the bottom of exactly what is going on. Well, we certainly have to fight for religious liberties and uh, otherwise they simply go away. And, uh, you know, quickly now, we have a few seconds left, but what other stories are you following out there? Well, of course, we have some big votes happening in Congress and in the United States Senate, uh, both related to abortion. But I think the big news story that we're all waiting on is the Supreme Court's decision on uh, whether or not they will uphold a lower court's ruling uh, that prohibited uh, the FDA's approval of this abortion drug that has been so uh, disastrous and hurtful to women's health. And we expect that certainly um, any day now. And when that comes, I think there will be gig big consequences across the country, especially for Catholics. Yeah, Judge Alito uh, recently put out a memo on that saying that possibly uh, uh, we'll see maybe Friday is when we're expecting all that to come down. But uh, I got to tell you, Brian Birch, a great, great interview here. President of Catholic Vote, always a pleasure to have you on EWTN News Nightly. Thank you and God bless you all. God bless you.